Hello, this is part 8 of 3D Slicer tutorial. This will be very simple but important lesson on 3D Slicer. In this part I'll show you how to make two-dimensional measurements. So if you want to measure a width of or the diameter on or of whatever structure, uh, you can do so by simply placing a ruler. However, as you probably already know, 3D Slicer has a lot of advanced features and this is also the case with measurements. So I'll talk briefly about that. To perform a 2D measurement, so let's say you want to measure a diameter of some anatomical structure. Let's say I want to measure a diameter of the aorta over here. To measure that, in the top menu, you'll find a icon that will have this little blue arrow with a red dot. When you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see three more options, and one of them is the ruler option. You can ignore the ROI and fiducial markers now. Click on the ruler, and now you can zoom in on your structure and make the measurement by clicking on two opposite sides of the structure, one and two. It automatically makes a measurement and shows you the name of the measurement. Right here it's M1 and the length or the diameter of the structure. You can click on crosshairs at the end of the line and drag them if you want to modify the measurement. You can also do the same thing on other planes. If you want to edit the measurement, not by clicking on the layer, for example, if you have multiple measurements and you want to organize them in a nice fashion, let's say I'll make two more measurements. Let's say I want to measure my aorta up here and I want to measure it down there. So right now I have three measurements. When you go to your module navigation bar, you can find all those measurements in annotations module. When you go to annotations, you'll find all of the measurements that have been performed by us, and you can edit pretty much everything. You can change their name, so let's say I want to change the M3 name, you can just change it to Aorta 3. It will automatically, automatically update. You can also hide them and make the 3D slicer jump to uh, the location. Finally, the most important part when you're making measurements in 3D slicer is to remember to save your measurements. When you go in the top left corner to the save button, you can open the menu and you'll see that all your measurements are now saveable in this ACSV format. Please make sure you save them so you can keep track during your project of all the annotations you created. Thank you.